Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We've got a nice little simple hover effect for you today using the free version of Elementor. Of course this will work with the pro version just as well. We've got an icon with a heading. If we hover over it, some text appears. And it doesn't matter where we hover, that text is going to pop up. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any coding we do, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it. Okay, so let's get started. I've got the page open here. I've got a section with three columns in it. I'm going to go to the matrix. I'm going to go down and get an icon box. And the icon box is available with the free version as well as the pro version. Now I'm left clicking, dragging. I'm going to drop it in where I want it right there. And as you can see, we've got a heading, we've got an icon, we've got a bit of content. I've got no real content to put in there. Obviously, you're going to put in what you want. And when you first start out, it's going to prompt you to put an icon in. You can upload your own image if you'd rather use that. Or you can just go to the icon library, either type in something in the search, or just go ahead and put in whatever icon works for you. Select it, hit insert, and there we go, fantastic. Put in your heading here, obviously. And the text that we're actually gonna have pop in is here. And like I say, I've got nothing real to put in there, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. If you wanna link your whole module to something, put your link in here. And best practice with all links, if you're linking to your own site, open it in a new window. I just hit the little cog there to get this drop down out. If you're linking to your own site, just leave it as it is, which is fine. You can position the icon. I'm happy with mine to be in the middle at the moment. And the title text, you can turn it from H3 to H2, H4, 5, etc. Or H1 if it's right, your first title on the page. Okay, let's pop over to style. I really don't want to change a whole lot here. We can ch change our icon cover. We can give it a, a different cover color on hover if you want to. So I'm going to make it sort of dark blue, similar to what I did next door there. I'm going to copy that hex code down there. Control C. Just click to close that. And I'll give my heading that same color. Just gone into content. We're still under the style tab there. And here's the color right here. Simply paste your hex code in there. If you go into typography, you can change the font family, the size, the weight, transform, style it, decorate it, however you want. Change the line height. I'm going to leave mine just as it is, but you, obviously you style yours how you wish. There's plenty of styling options there. The actual description text itself, I'm going to leave just as it is, which is fine for me. Okay, well, let's write our heading here. Obviously, if you want to make your icon bigger and what have you, do that up in the icon. So I've actually got the pro version installed. So I'm going to write the CSS in the CS custom CSS box right at the bottom here on the advanced tab. You won't be able to do this with the free version. For the free version, you need to go to your theme customizer, which is right here. If I go back, go down to your dashboard, go to appearance and then customize it'll bring you to this page right here if you go down to the bottom with the free version or and the pro version you've both got this actually you've got an additional css box and this is where you'd want to write your css for the free version good idea to give it a title so i'm going to say forward slash star star forward slash anything you write between the stars here will not be read as code And having titles is a great thing, especially if you write a lot of code, it makes it so much easier to find. And also if somebody comes in and edits the site after you, it's a courtesy. So for the free version, this is where you want to put it in your additional CSS. You just need to hit the publish when you're ready. Okay, well, let's write our CSS. Like I say, I'm going to put mine in here so we can see what's going on. 
Now, if we look at this, we've got a heading. We know that's H3 because we didn't change it. We've got an icon and we've got some text here. And this is paragraph text, regular paragraph text. So we can target it. But to do that, we need to give our little icon box a CSS class or a name so that we can actually target it. So again, in the advanced tab, just hit the advanced drop down. CSS ID, CSS classes. We need to put ours in the class. Call it something unique. And it's a good idea to make it something that you will recognize. So I'm going to say I for icon, B for box, HV for hover, IBHV. So we've given it a name now that we can actually target it with. Now, if I go down to my custom CSS, let's write that in there. It's a class name. All class names need a period or dot in front of them. So dot. I B H V. Now we don't want to target the whole thing. We just want to target the paragraph text down here. And the paragraph text is P. So we're targeting the I B H V P. Let's open and close some curly brackets. And inside we can tell it what we want it to do. Well, we don't want to see it. So let's go to opacity zero as you can see it's disappeared now I'm going to copy this from the dot all the way to the closing curly bracket I'm going to drop down and paste it in below after the P with no gap I'm going to put a colon and then no gap again and the word hover we can set a hover state so I'm going to take opacity to one now opacity is see-throughness or transparency. Zero is completely invisible. One is completely visible. And you can increment up 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. to get the transparency level that you want. Now when I actually hover over it, it's going to pop back. Now it's kind of popping back instantly. So I'm going to slow it down a bit with a bit of a transition duration. So in the regular state, not the hover state, I'm going to write transition. Now, as you can see, it's prompted us down here. So I'm going to just click on that to auto fill. And I'm going to make mine about a second and a quarter. So 1.25s. One and a quarter seconds right there. That will slow it down. A little bit more graceful there. There we go. Now, you'd think that would be it. But the problem that we've got there is that if I hover over here, nothing's going to happen if I hover over here nothing 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 nothing's going to actually happen till we hover over that paragraph text whereas what we want we want to be able to hover over anywhere and have that pop in so we've got to do a bit of adjusting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot this down by about 250 picks so it's down here somewhere then I'm going to give it negative margin to pull it back up so it covers most of our block here. That way, anywhere that we hover, because it will have padding on the top, it will affect it. So again, in the regular state, I'm going to say padding top. Let's say 250 pixels. I think that worked for me last time. Obviously, if you've got more or less text, you'll have to experiment and change it to your own value. As you can see, this is way down here now, but of course we actually want it to be in a similar position, but we want to use this padding to trigger the animation. So I'm going to fool it by moving it back up with margin or negative margin. So I'm going to say margin, top, colon, negative 250 picks. And absolutely nothing's happened. The reason that is it's got a default margin in there that we've got to overwrite. So I have to use the important to force it up here. I don't like to use important, it, but sometimes you just have to. So right after the X, I'm going to put a gap, exclamation, important. As you can see, it's scooted back up there. And it's flagged it a little bit. It doesn't really like you to use that, but it does work. So we've got to use it in this case. So we sh should be pretty much done now when I hover anywhere over there, that text is going to appear. 
And of course, if you wanted to, you could put an image in the background or color in the background if you wanted to make it more exciting. But that's kind of nice. If people are mousing around your site, it's going to get their attention. So let's save what we got and we'll have a little look. One more thing I want to do is just give it a little bit more space around. That's a little bit high up there. I think I'll just give it sort of 20 pixels all around. So let's still in the advanced tab, drop down the advanced again. Here's our padding. I'm going to leave that checked so it does all four sides at once. I'm just going to give it 20 all around. There we go. That should be in a similar position to our other one. Fantastic. Now any other icon box that you happen to build and want to use this effect on, you just build it as usual and just give it this class name of IBHV and it'll do exactly the same thing. Great thing about CSS. So let's update and have a look on the other end. And you can hit the little eyeball if you want to preview it. My page was open up there, but there we go. So there it is. There's our new one. I haven't styled this very interestingly, but I'm sure you get the idea. And that's a nice little effect to have on your website. And like I said, CSS code, I'll pop below the video. You're welcome to use it, manipulate it how you will. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.